Hi guys. So I know y'all probably cannot take me serious with this on my face, but I have about three minutes left um, and I just thought about doing this video. Um, so yeah. All right, so here's what this video is gonna be about. I'm really gonna take this off my face in three minutes, but I posted a picture the other day on Instagram of my skincare fridge and everybody was like, oh my God, what's a skincare fridge? Do I need a skincare fridge? Why do you have one? Where'd you get it? Basically, everybody just had questions about me having a skincare fridge and basically that prompted the question of like, what do I put on my face and how do I take care of my skin? Because I had a major skin glow up. Um, I never had problem skin. Um, and I took some hair vitamins and they messed up my skin really, really bad. And I spent years, a whole bunch of money trying to get my face together. But that's a whole nother video. If you want a video about my skincare journey, let me know. But like I said, that's a whole literally like three year process of me getting my skin together. But I'll insert a picture of what my skin looked like and what it looks like now. And just kind of show y'all, this video is just going to be to show y'all what I'm using on my skin right now, what products I like and that I'm using. It's not really going to go into any detail on like all the problems I have with my skin. But okay, I can take this off now. Uh, oh, nice glowing skin. Let's put that to the side. So as far as my skincare fridge, it literally is a cute mini fridge. It has product all on it. I need to clean it. But I keep this on my bathroom counter. It's about this big. Um, it's from Frigidaire. There actually is like a real life skincare fridge that you can buy. Um, it was like $200, I think, or $100. And I personally was not about to pay that. And the other issue was it was just entirely too big to go in my bathroom. So I didn't want that. So I opted for something smaller. So all this is, is a um, mini fridge and it's for, it fits six can Cokes. It also came with a car charger, um, which I don't know why I would need that for skincare, but it's actually really cool if like, you know, you're going on a trip and you wanted to have like your Cokes or White Claws with you, if you know what I'm saying. But it really does come in handy for something like that. But I was like, you know what? I could totally use this for a skincare fridge. So let me go ahead and get that. So I got it on sale. Y'all know I'm like all about the glitches and anytime it's like a price thing. So if it comes up again, it's on sale. I definitely will put it on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can get updates on that. Um, just probably turn on like your story notifications so you know when I post it. Because anytime like a glitch or something comes up, I post that. But that's a whole nother video as well. But anyway, back to the skincare fridge. I can talk forever. I'm trying not to. People say I talk too much, but whatever. So in the skincare fridge, it has like a little door. And I'm not going to open it on camera, actually, because I probably would drop it and everything. So I'll just try my best to open it without dropping every single thing. Why well, won't it open? Let's see. Hold on. Intermission. Before I show y'all all these products that are in my skincare fridge, I need you to like and subscribe this video right now. You here? You watching the video? Why not show me some love? Like and subscribe. So, if you want to see me continue to make these videos? I a little reciprocity. I give you videos, you give me likes and subscribes. Anyway, here we go. A little handle on the top when you open it it has all of this stuff in there so disclaimer um now that you've seen inside of my fridge everything in here is high-end skincare like every single thing you cannot get at cvs you can't get it at walmart everything here in here is pretty expensive um i pulled up all the prices for everything inside of my skincare fridge um, pretty much everything in here came from sephora um one day I kind of got tired of just having messed up skin. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to invest in high-end skincare and see what happens. And I am very pleased with the results. And you, I'm going to insert it again. You saw my before picture. To go from that to this, take all my coins. Like, take all of them. Um, so I have pulled up the prices and everything. And also, um, the cool thing about Sephora is you can access your um, purchase history. So I'm able to say when I bought the product um, and basically tell y'all that and also how much it cost. 
and all like this stuff also like the size and everything the first product i have is honeymoon glow um from a brand called pharmacy but it's f-a-r-m-a-c-y like the farm you know so this product is really really good i love this you put it on at night you massage it well you pat it into your face and you really don't even need a lot um i don't know if you can see like how much product is still in it but it's about still right here and I purchased this product on March 13, 2019, so almost a year. And I actually use this. I don't use it every night, but I use it often for sure. Definitely often enough to say that I see results from it. Please excuse my scarf. I'm deep conditioning right now. Um, you know, you got to get in where you can fit in, fit in the deep conditions when you can. And I had time today, so please excuse my nice scarf. But yes, this product, like I said, it's called Honeymoon Glow. It's an AHA resurfacing night serum with hydrating honey and gentle flower acids. I have pretty sensitive skin, but my skin also has like a really high tolerance built up to chemicals and things. Um, I get facials. Um, when I was living in Baton Rouge, I would drive to Lafayette and get facials at a med spa in Lafayette. And I pretty much have tried every chemical that you can possibly put on a face to get rid of hyperpigmentation i pretty much tried it at really high concentrations so things like this do not irritate my skin but um it does save you experience any irritation or anything just um slow down how many like slow down the frequency of when you're using it so don't use it every night use it three nights a week all right so that's this one so the next product is almost empty and i'm so depressed about it i've been having this product since july of 2019 i use this pretty much every day and night but i only use a little bit this product is a dark spot serum i will say that i feel like this product single-handedly plays a major role in how my skin went from like messed up super dark scars full of acne to just being you know extremely clear and it balances my skin to where i'm not getting a lot of breakouts this product retails for 79.99 which is a bit steep when you consider like you can go to cvs or something and get like a six dollar product so it's not as expensive as you know some brands that you find like nordstrom or neiman's but it's pretty expensive for like a college student anybody who basically don't have a job it's pretty expensive um so this one is one ounce and it's from Poudelle. i love their brand super clean products super like good packaging and i love stuff that comes in glass for some reason and anything that has like a dropper i just love like it's, it's amazing so um, there's like a full line that comes with this product i only have two of the products um from the line and they work really well together. Um, so the next product is also from Coudelé. It's from the same line, the Vino Perfect line, and it's an essence. So before using this, I had no idea what an essence was. I actually bought this because I thought that it was like the toner that went with this, but then I started looking up what an essence was. And baby, like when I tell you, took my skincare to a whole nother level, I swear by this essence, I love it. I'm a little salty because it's, you know, almost time to replace both of these products. And this one, like I said, is $79 and this one is $49. Um, but this one is five ounces versus, you know, this one is just a serum. So it's one ounce. But yes, this one works really good. Um, it's a super clean product. I believe the brand um, is like a French brand. And I don't know, it, it feels really good. I feel good about the pro um, the ingredients that are in it. I don't feel like, you know, I'm harming my skin. And it, basically with this one, you can apply it. Um, you're supposed to apply it morning and night. And you can either like put a couple of drops in your hand, rub it together and just press it into your face. The Roni is out right now, AKA the coronavirus. So I'm not really touching my face after I didn't touch all this other stuff. But basically, Wash y'all hands to avoid Roni, but anyway. You put this, couple drops, rub it, pat it in your face, good to go. Well, not good to go, some more steps. But basically the point of an essence is after you wash your face, um, you do your toner, and then um, you do your essence. And you 
put the essence on. Basically, um, from my understanding, I'm not an esthetician, I don't know, but from my research, what an essence is, it's just a product um, that works really well with your toner and it allows the products to really, um, really like penetrate deep into your skin. So, and it also gives me like a really refreshed feeling of nothing else. Like, I don't know, cause I mean, of course a toner is to help the products in your skin, um, penetrate into your skin. But if this product does nothing else, it makes my skin feel so soft, especially whenever I use like a cotton pad and put it on my face. So, puts me to the next product. I bought this, my, my second bottle of this product. I really, really like it. I first started using it in a year ago, March 13th, and then I repurchased it on July 18th. Um, and then I haven't repurchased it since then because I learned that I don't need to soak an entire cotton pad with it to use it. Apparently, I was wasting so much product. I do pretty much the same thing with this one, except I put it on a cotton pad and then just put it on my face after I cleanse it. This is the Olay Henriksen Glow to Glow to O Glow to O Dark Spot Toner. It has a high potency of AHAs, which I don't know what they do, but I know they leave my skin popping. So this one just says, at night, pour into a cotton pad and swipe over clean, dry face in a circular motion. Follow up with a serum or moisturizer of your choice um, and all that good stuff. So use this one just like you would any toner, but I do like that it has AHAs in it. And basically pretty much all these products have AHAs in them. And the more AHAs I can get in my skin, the better. So next product is from a different line. This stuff is the truth. Let me just put that right there. It's gonna take a moment of silence for this product because it's expensive, but it's bomb. It's worth it, a hundred percent. I bought this. Oh, I paid that much for this. Oh my goodness. Well, I bought this a year ago. It still has a good bit. It probably lasts me like a full, probably like three or four months left. So definitely got like you know a year out of it, which is good. Um, this product is from Kate Somerville and it's called the Exfolicate. It's an intensive exfoliating treatment. It is two ounces, two fluid ounces. And what you do with this one, uh, it claims to be a two minute facial. And I kid you not, I get facials regularly, but this product literally leaves my skin feeling like I just got a facial. Now, if you have skin that, if you have active breakouts, um it can be a little strong a little tingly so you definitely don't want to use this every single night if you have um active breakouts and just like things on your face so disclaimer on that one but this one also how to use it says you can use am or pm am or pm that does not mean both am and pm because your face is gonna feel like a fetus a fetus face it's just gonna be too smooth, probably gonna rub all your skin off. You don't wanna do that. No, you don't wanna do that. So it says use once or twice a week. Apply a thin, even layer to a clean, wet face, massaging in a circular motion for 30 seconds. Leave on for up to two minutes. Rinse and gently pat dry. And this product may cause the skin to tingle and flush slightly for a short time. For sensitive skin, leave on for less than one minute. Or there's actually a gentle version of this product. I'm not, you know, I ain't soft. So I, I don't use gentle products. I have an issue with that. I will buy the strongest product that a brand has. But like I said, I don't recommend that for everyone. My skin has been through like the ringer. So at this point, I can pretty much put anything on my face and I don't feel like anything bad is gonna happen and I'm gonna have an adverse reaction to it. I know what chemicals my skin takes and I feel good about, you know, using that. So the next product is also from the um, Exfolicate line, Kate Somerville Glow Moisturizer. Simply what it is, just a moisturizer that gives you a glow. You have oily skin, don't know if I recommend this because it is kind of oily. Um, I used to put like stack this on my face and put a whole bunch. Now I'm learning that all I have to do is put a little bit in my hand 
and I'm no longer like rubbing products in my face. I'm just patting them into my face. And I found that this product works so much better and I look so much more radiant whenever I just allow this product um, and use it like that versus rubbing it in my face. This product was $65. Crazy thing is, y'all, I really bought most of the stuff on one trip, and I don't know who paid for that because, wow, this one's $65, this one's $85, but treat yourself, invest in these products, because they really have changed my skin for sure. The next product, and the last one, well, no, this isn't the last one from Sephora, this one is the Kate Somerville Eradicate Acne Treatment. So... Y'all know, like, um, I think it's Mario Waduski, whatever <laughs> his name is. He has one like this, and that was the first time I saw it. But I was at Sephora whenever I, you know, was getting all this stuff. So I wanted, I needed something for spot treatments, and that's literally what this is. I put it on at night if I have, like, a pimple or something. When I wake up, it's gone every single time. And if it's not gone the first day for some reason, if it was just, like, a huge one, when I do it the second night, it's gone 100%. That product was $26, so the most affordable out of everything on here. Um, the next and last thing that is from Sephora um, are these Peter Thomas Roth um, masks. So I'm assuming this is like a sample pack. Um, someone actually got me these for Christmas and it came with an orange one and a 24 karat gold one that are in my bathroom. Um, these are the ones that are in my fridge right now, and they're it's a purifying black mask, so like the, I guess, charcoal. This is a gel cucumber mask, and then this is a rose stem cell. I've only used each of these once, and I have to be honest, I don't feel like they really do anything. Aside from the, the black mask, I did see like a glow in my skin, and it felt like it did like a little detox on it, on the, on the cool, cool. Would I buy these in full size? Absolutely not. I'm not sure how much they cost, but I couldn't see myself paying for these masks. Now, this mask, on the other hand, is from Gleeman. I don't know if y'all saw this, but I kind of fell into like the Instagram ad hype and I bought this product. And it is a vitamin C clay mask um, with turmeric and aloe vera. Can't go wrong with those, especially if you're suffering from hyperpigmentation. And it's just instantly enhanced skin for a luminous bare face glow, staying free and formulated to work on all skin. So I have made turmeric masks by myself and it literally stained everything. My face was yellow. All my towels in my bathroom are white. They were yellow. My countertop was yellow. This mask, I can actually like take a towel and take it off of my face with the towel. And when I put the towel in the washer, it comes right out. So I really, really would recommend this um, because you just really don't have to worry about things being stained. Also, when I was making my turmeric mask, I think I was making them too strong because like I said, it was staining my face. So that is the last of the products that I have. The other things are more so like tools. Um, I started using the crystal roller things on my face. I don't feel like they really do anything to be honest. And it also, I dropped it and it broke. And I'm not a person that can have products that are able to break because I will break them every single time. All of these bottles, um, pretty much all of these are glass, the products that I showed y'all. And I've dropped them all and they haven't broken. So I don't know what kind of magic they're working at these factories. But if you're scared of paying that much money for a product because you're scared that it will drop, I've dropped all these and they're fine. Last thing in my skincare fridge. Came is the most expensive thing in the entire video. It came from the Dollar Tree. And I keep them in here so they can be cool. Like, you know, when you go to the spa and they put the cucumbers on and it's cool. Well, these are little cucumbers as well, but they have like gel in the inside of them. Keep them in the fridge. When my eyes are puffy underneath, I pop these on, you know, just chill for a minute. So that is what's in my skincare fridge. I am going to go wash this deep conditioner out of my hair. And then I'm going to, you know, just chill for the day. It was a great day to do some skincare, deep condition my hair, um, and just kind of get myself ready for the weekend and just feeling good about myself. It's a beautiful day outside. So make sure y'all have any questions about anything in my skincare fridge. 
I want to make sure that y'all ask me those questions. Also, if y'all want the video on my skincare regimen and how I cleared up my skin, which would be a much longer video. It's like I said, that's three years compressed into one. Comment below and let me know. Um, I really appreciate y'all for watching my video and see y'all next time.